If you've lived your whole life healthy and middle class or higher, you've probably never had to worry about skipping a few meals in order to go to the hospital or seeing if an injury works itself out. This is not the case for those in poverty. For example, if someone who is low income has diabetes, the expensive medicine that they will have to take in order to just survive will cause them to, to work so hard that it might land them in the hospital. This hospital visit will help them recover, but they will have to take time off work while worrying about how to pay medical bills on top of their already expensive medicine. This is the exact reason we need medical universal health care in the United States. For those in middle class or higher, you've probably never had to worry about the economic and social benefits of universal health care, but this is the exact reason why we need to fight for it. Personal taxes are the first thing that people talk about when the topic of universal health care is introduced into a conversation. People fear that if universal health care is implemented in America, those who need it the least will be paying the most in order to implement it. While this is true, there's so much more that needs to be considered than just taxes when we talk about universal health care. Because you will find that if you pay a little more in taxes, you will pay a lot less on medical accidents, insurance, and appointments. Let's check this in take home pay in a company in a country with universal health care versus a country versus America where we do not have universal health care. In Germany, they take home about on average $3,248.64 according to Numbio, a Serbian online database of everything from crime rates to property prices. According to the same website, Americans take home around $4,662.62. Accounting for um, the cost of living, $1,162.04 in America and $1,027 and nine cents in Germany, um, we are left with, well, Germans are left with $2,220.74 for everything else, and Americans are left with $3,500.22 before rent. This seems problematic. If universal health care is so good, then shouldn't Germans be taking home more money than Americans? No, because along with universal health care, Germans have maternity and paternity leave, proper breaks within working hours, and um, sick days that don't take away from paid time off. This means that a German person will be able to work a living wage without extreme stress on their bodies and mental capacities for um, just to make ends meet. Um, some companies that still function great in Germany and the USA are Amazon, BMW, and Adidas, proving that Companies can still thrive within Germany, even while having um, all of these human rights met. This may not seem like that, a, that big of a deal for those of middle class or higher, but for those in poverty, being able to work a living wage without the extreme stress on their body is seemingly impossible underneath the American government. If healthcare isn't free, then someone isn't going to be able to access it. So who doesn't deserve healthcare? This very specific question needs to be asked when we talk about the effects of not having universal healthcare. Without healthcare, 
Those in poverty cannot get the help that might save their lives, causing an unnecessary amount of deaths due to the lack of health care. Families USA, a nonprofit organization, found that between 2010 and 2005, deaths due to a lack of universal health care ranged from 2,350 to 26,100 people. These deaths were all preventable. And instead of the American government working to fix this problem, the American government has decided to sit idly by. This is not about political sides in America, but is an observation of the system as a whole. Martin Luther King even commented on this exact problem, saying, of all the forms of inequality, injustice in health is the most shocking and inhumane. He said this at a press conference directly related to the medical committee in America. Taxes, the taxes that a person has to pay um, should not matter when we consider the amount of people that will struggle with a lack of health care. It was found by, it was commented on by Georgetown University um, saying that just having Medicaid um, was able to prevent um, the cycle of poverty significantly more than what seems possible. Finding that Medicaid is estimated to reduce child poverty by 5.3 percentage points. If uh, insurance can do this much alone, imagine what could happen if healthcare was entirely free. Instead of having to pay out of pocket for insulin, a necessary medicine for those with diabetes, a person would be able to find better quality food, maybe move out of a crime-ridden neighborhood, or even just be able to breathe when it comes to paying bills. Overall, this probably doesn't matter that much to most people in this room. Maybe the economic and social benefits of universal health care don't matter to you. But as you go out into the world, decide to take notice of the person in the shivering cold with only a blanket. And decide that maybe that person is worth caring about. Decide that maybe the person who can't afford to pay for their um, extremely expensive medicine is worth more than what they can offer to a pharmaceutical company. Decide that if you or a loved one had ever enter, were to ever enter this unfortunate situation, you would want someone to care. Because maybe we don't matter in the grand scheme of the universe, but maybe we do. And I think that's worth holding on to, no matter who may have told you otherwise. Thank you.